Keiko. Okay, one is with green, one is with a pencil. All right, and I will cut up the tape, put it, put the 3D onto a 2D pattern paper, and I will make a mean form. And then I will show you how to make a low top, which is the pencil line one, and then the green one is supposed to be kind of like a mid top, high top. So I will show you how to do those as well. All right, enjoy. it off gently. Once you come halfway, you're going to start peeling from the back side. Let's leave it here for now on the table. Let's take the other side off. I will put this on a piece of paper. I want to start attaching this tape onto the paper right around the center, the midpoint of both sides. Right here. Okay? And I follow right along this line. And then, window wipe moves using this bone folder, window wipe moves towards your toe. Wrinkles can occur, but try to keep it nice and evenly distributed. I don't like to cut any little like ease lines or anything. I don't like to cut the tape. I like to keep it intact. Once you do some window wipe moves, It'll eventually lay down. A little bit of wrinkle here and there is okay. Next one, let's repeat it. Same method. Start around the center. You can put this down nice and straight, but there's a flare here and an indent there from the curves of your last. You just need to distribute your wrinkles. Start at the center, just keep on going, window wipe moves all the way towards the toe. Like so, nice and flat.
I have two of these. So it used to be a shoe on a last, like medial side and a lateral side. I made it on a left foot, so this is a medial, this is a lateral. When we're making a mean form, basically we're gonna put these two pieces together to make an average. We're humans, so maybe the center front line was a little off, so there's gonna be two lines. We're gonna average the two lines up. Before we do that, I just wanna to check to make sure to show you that um, you want a nice and smooth line. You don't want any jaggedy lines or bumps. You want it nice and smooth, okay? Using an awl, this is an awl, I mark fit point. That was the first line you drew across the widest part of the ball of foot, so it, was, it used to be like this. So this is the line you drew. Right on the center front line, this is called your fit point. This is your pivot point, right at the middle between your center front and the feather edge. This is your pivot point. This is your counterpoint. I mark these three. One, two, three. Same on this side. I mark one, two, three. Okay, now actually, I like to draw my shoes this way. Also, this was my lateral side. So I'm gonna use this as my main one. So the one that's the opposite side, I am going to trace the design line. Okay. Using a tracing wheel, I'll trace the same design line. And next. So this is done, so I can take this off. All right, so that is the exact same thing as this. Next, I tra trace the other side, which is the side that I like to draw my shoes like. I'm going to use this fit point. Match it to your fit point of the first trace so that the center front line is matches, and then I look at this counterpoint, match it to the counterpoint that I previously marked. Sometimes you can't see it, but make sure that the height is the same. That's how you know where you're going to place your other half. All right, now that we have it in position,
you're going to take the middle of these two lines, middle of these top two lines, and middle of a center front line. So I took the middle of the two lines everywhere except for the bottom. Bottom, I like to take the outer line so we have enough material left. This is called your mean form. And I would like to also put your size, Serena 8C. If you'd like, you can put your date as well. Next time you want to use that same last, you don't have to tape it up anymore. All you have to do is use your mean form. Basically, you know where your fit point is. Pivot point, there's two, line, two points because it, the front line used to be a diagonal. You can take the middle of the two. That's going to be your pivot point now for this mean form. And that's your counterpoint. We have two lines for each design line right there. So I'm going to finesse this right now. My super simple tennis shoe. I would like to have about, in this case, it's more casual. I want to have at least a centimeter, but like maybe like 12 millimeters away, 13 millimeters away from the front line. A line along my um, vamp. Um, you can kind of vaguely see right there so that my eyelets will go follow that line. And then I'm going to measure this. And if I need to, if I need to, I'll add some seams and stuff, but I'll see how it works out by breaking it all up. So this is called a mean form. It's a median of the two sides, the medial and the lateral side. I should write the name 